Years ago, I met so many people that I, that I love. I just I just spoke about it, but people that I met over the years when I was at Harvard Law School, I met uh, so many Detroiters, and I just had an affinity for the city. Yeah, things evolved, and um, started to spend more time here. Met more wonderful people, and decided just to to to, to invest in the city. So I bought a business mm -hmm. here. I bought the roasting the plant, roasting which plant, is a right. coffee roastery in downtown Detroit. And uh, we do micro batch roasting and it's a coffee shop. And, uh, and then I bought one of Detroit's iconic homes, which is uh, one of the Fisher Mansions. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's the largest home in a neighborhood called Boston Edison. And, um, and it's, been, it's been a journey and a labor of love, you yeah. know, re, re, doing the, the complete rehabilitation of, of, the, of the home and in the midst of it. It's a, it's a very long process. It's, yeah. you know, it's, it's almost 22,000 square feet. Oh and goodness. so right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a large, yeah. you know, the main house and the carriage house. And it's 100 years old and, and there's, a lot, there's a lot to do. Yeah. Every, every week something new goes I, wrong. <laughs> I, as an old homeowner, I can relate. Yes. Uh, not quite 22,000 square feet for me. But uh, uh, that narrative kind of reflects the larger narrative here in the city. I, I wonder what you make of the things that are going on, the things that are changing right. for us in Detroit. Well, well, I'll tell you, there, to me, you have a wonderful investment in uh, uh, the downtown core, mm -hmm. but uh, a starking lack of investment in the neighborhoods. Yeah. And the, it's really truly the neighborhoods, to me, and the people in those neighborhoods that are who you want to bet on. Mm -hmm. They're who you want to invest in. And the communities, historically, and the folks from here are the ones that have made Detroit what it is sure. and its legacy. And so, and that's what attracted me here. So, um, you're talking about an outsider who has invested millions of dollars in a city. I got attracted here, why? Because of the people. And that's what I just spoke about here. It, we can't ignore that. It's yeah. not about pretty old buildings and making those shiny. Yeah. It's not about that. It's not about figuring out how to import people. It's about investing in the people that are here, letting them be creative, and creating a uniquely wonderful city that attracts people because of what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen that work other places it a works little better so than it many, does here? Well, uh, well I mean, it, 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 when you know thyself, yeah. it works. Yeah. Now, certain catastrophic things can happen. Yeah. I'll give you a great example. Um, I'm co-owner of a hotel in New Orleans. Okay. Uh, it's, it's called International House. It's a wonderful hotel. Bought it with a, a very good friend of mine. And we were doing incredibly well, mm -hmm. right? Until Katrina happened. Now Katrina happens and people leave and all these things start to happen. You start to see that I love New Orleans. I love it but it's not what it once was. Hmm. And the reason why is because you didn't invest back in the people. In the people, the people, people are gone. People came in as predators, and whether you want to call it cultural appropriation mm -hmm. or whatever, and it's, New Orleans is, in certain ways has become a Disneyland fake yeah. version of what it was. Huh. The, the actual people doing the marches have been pushed out. The actual people doing the lines and, and, the, and the musicians, those real people in many ways have been pushed out. And now you have the kind of fake version of it. Yeah, and I'm, yeah. I hate to say that publicly because I still own the hotel. Right, and consider and yourself and, part of that community. Yeah, and right? I am. Yeah. And so, so I've seen it work in the right way, yeah. and I've seen it work in the not so right yeah. way. Where, where have you seen it work in the right way? Well, it was working in New Orleans. No, in other uh, words, before, you know I'm saying, right, before New Orleans yeah. was working because okay. you just wanted to go there. Yeah. It was such a different city right. than any other city in, in the any country. Other, yeah, right. Any other city in the country. Um, another city where, where it's actually worked, and you talk about know thyself mm -hmm. <clears throat> in many ways, is Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that, be, that became its own beacon of light with people doubling down on it. But watch what's happened, right? You, you, know, you can arbitrage things and you can figure out things. People have, are leaving it. Why? One, because it got expensive. It's but expensive. two, the more important, the more interesting thing is we are very simple animals, right? A lot of rich guys were there, and they, there weren't that many girls to talk to. <laughs> so what did they do? They all started setting up offices in Los Angeles, yeah, yeah. right? So now Silic, you, know, you have Silicon Beach in, in Venice and in mm. L.A., huh. and West L.A., and more jobs are being created within the tech sector there. Why? Because 
people, if you have money, you want to date somebody, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so behavior is relatively simple, but we have to invest in the people. You have to invest in what makes something special. This, this city has such an amazing history, but the history isn't because of industry. The history is because of the people, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, you know, I, I grew up here, and we didn't used to talk about it that way, but it did used to be different, right? Uh, when there was all this largesse from the auto industry, there was opportunity. Uh, there was opportunity for people who had means. There was opportunity for people who didn't have mm -hmm. means. Uh, but there's we, still opportunity. And we lost if that, we create it, right? Right, you totally lost yeah. it. Totally lost it. But now there's a. But the, see now. There's 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 this new there's there's new opportunity, but it, it but it's it's allowing people to try to grab and yeah. appropriate yeah. rather than expand. But then expand it, right? And that's the critical difference, right? And people are. It's almost like people are afraid to say it because you're like you're just happy they came to the party, right? <laughs> right. Like I, right. You're, everyone you're, else was yeah, leaving. Yeah, 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 everyone else is leaving. I'm just happy you you came to the yeah. party. But at the end of the day, you know, if 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 someone's going to come to the party and then make it their party. Right. It's not then your it's party not anymore. It's then it's not, not that much anymore. fun, even though it's a party, yeah. supposedly. And then you're actually not even at the party anymore, and you're not even invited to the party, but right. you're like, I started this party. <laughs> right. I was how, how, how did you end up owning the party? Yeah. You know? And mm -hmm. so you got to remember, we, we have to have to put communities first, have to put, have to put people first. Yeah. Uh, when you talk with other people who are here doing what you're doing in Detroit, some of them from here, mm -hmm. some of them from other places, do they seem to get that too? Uh, are we at the point where the people who are moving the capital that's, you know, changing things I think they, realize I think they that. get it, but they don't know how. Yeah. And what I try to explain to them is you, you don't have to know how. You just have to bet, bet on the people. Yeah. And I'm working on something where I'm attempting to, pro to provide in just an ecosystem or, 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 or a fishbowl where people, where some of the barriers are broken down for people to get together and actually kick around ideas, mm -hmm. try to be, attempt to be creative, create businesses. At the end of the day, the most important thing is what we're saying, creation of opportunity and job opportunity. Mm -hmm. Job opportunity, because people want to be able to earn an income and earn a living wage. Yeah. How can we provide that for everybody, provide that opportunity for everybody in Detroit?